What is up boys and girls? So this is the third morning in a row that I've decided to get out and make a video and only the third time no the first time that I didn't forget to plug my microphone in so yeah I lost a load of cool footage of racing a Porsche 911 old 964 uh, doing a wheelie past a brand new Camaro lots of cool stuff but no audio anyway so today is probably the last time I'm going to be riding this thing for a little while because if you can hear it and see this see the rev counter it's running like a bag of shit and it keeps stalling it'll probably stall while we're making this video ah oh, you motherfucker ah oh, you piece of shit and this morning when I woke up I found a small puddle of oil under the front wheel and that's because the forks have decided to start leaking quite badly so yeah this bike has turned into a bit of a mission now and I'm sure the misfire is just plugs because when you're on full throttle it's fine so yeah I gotta change the plugs first and then I'm gonna have to think about getting the forks rebuilt which I'm guessing is gonna cost a lot of money so I'm a bit gutted but ah oh shit but the timing itself is okay because this month I actually sold well, I've made quite a bit of commission at work so as long as the missus doesn't find out I can probably afford to get the stuff fixed Oh, look at this motherfucker. But yeah, no, like, after you give it a blast like that, it idles okay for about 10 seconds and then it'll start fucking up again. Ah, oh, there we go. I, I think it's plugs. My mates are saying like check all the sensors and all the vacuum hoses and stuff like that but this is pretty much exactly what the CBR was doing until I changed the plugs and then it like basically made it perfect so I'm hoping it's just the plugs. And as it's only a V-twin, oh, you motherfucker. Oh come on. it's a v-twin it's kind of a pain in the ass the back cylinder obviously a piece of piss but the front one the oil tanks in the way the radiators in the way all that kind of stuff so it's probably going to be a bit of a mission to do it i think i'm gonna have to take the fuel tank off the air box and the throttle bodies just to do the front front plug i'm not confident doing lane splitting now either because this thing could stall at any freaking time not this time obviously Anyway, seeing as uh, I'm going to go past a nice big park today, I thought I'll show you the uh, cherry blossom. What's it called? Sakura. The Sakura. Um, as you can see, this country is not on lockdown. This is a Monday morning uh, just before 9am and there's cars fucking everywhere. And yesterday, on a Sunday, when I was also going this way, past the park, there was fucking hundreds of people having picnics, drinking beer, getting drunk, and hugging and kissing and all that shit in the park. So Japan is just not taking this shit seriously at all. It seems like Tokyo is, but the rest of the country isn't. Oh man, can you drive any slower? Yeah, this is like the, at the beginning of the park. You can go in that entrance or whatever. But uh, yeah, as you can see up above, there's lots of cherry blossom, which the Japanese are obsessed with. Oh, Japanese flags out. Oh, what's 
going on there? School? Why the fuck are they at school? Huh? I thought the schools were closed. Why are those kids at school? Ah, uh, yet again. Just to prove my point that Japan's not taking it seriously. They're having a fucking open day at the school. Even though the government told all the schools to stay closed. What the fuck? Oh, you piece of shit. And you know why? Why they probably don't give a fuck about closing schools and stuff is because that would be a that would be a nuisance for the parents and the parents are worker bees so they have to go to work so don't worry about the kids just keep the economy running there we go cherry blossom ain't it pretty oh yeah very nice very nice let's have a stop in here and see how how it looks in here maybe get an insta picture oh yeah oh yeah baby oh yeah hopefully this old man won't fucking shout at me all right, park the bike up here and get a nice insta picture. Let's go on HDR mode. Time to get my sorry ass off to fucking work. Might as well have a quick look at this little lakey thing. Whatever you call it, a pond. What's that chick doing? Yeah, what do you think? It's pretty pretty, isn't it? That's the big hospital over there, Nogoya University Hospital. Hmm. All right, it's enough of that. Let's go to work. Oh, I left my lights on. All right, guys, so we've got to fix this turd of a bike. So I will see you in the garage later. Well, boys and girls, I made a start on the bike um, quite a while ago now, actually. It's hard to see, but the plugs are right in there next to the royal cooler radiator and the back one's kind of tricky to get to as well down there so basically i've had to strip the uh well the whole top end of the bike off so the throttle bodies the airbox obviously the fuel tank and the side covers and stuff like that so today thank thanks to my friend augusto he went to the shop and bought me some new spark plugs and I got a very thin walled 16mm uh, plug socket because the one that I used on my CBR doesn't fit because this hole is tiny. The plug hole is pretty hard to see but it's tiny so a regular socket doesn't fit in there. So today I'm going to put the new plugs in and put the bike back together again and hope that it's okay. Now the other thing that's arisen is that the forks are leaking. So it's kind of hard to see because I wiped it all, but I tried to pull off the uh, seal here and the, the rubber was just completely dry. So it just fell apart. So the forks are gonna have to get, I'm gonna have to take the forks off and rebuild them as well. But for now, I mean, it's only a minor leak, so I'll still be able to ride it until, basically until payday, till I've got enough money to buy the repair kit. So anyway, let's get on with the repair work. Two hours later. All right, so I've got the throttle bodies and the airbox back on, and this bike is surprisingly easy to work on. I didn't feel once like, oh, I wish I'd have worked some manual or what does this do or how'd you get this off? It's really straightforward. The only thing I screwed up is I put this on last, which you can't do. That has to go on first, then the airbox cover. So that took a bit of time, but basically from, uh, from where it was before to just getting all the throttle bodies and the airbox back on and sorting out the throttle because it was a bit, bit iffy before. 
basically it took two, two hours. So now I'm just going to put the tank back on, which is also very easy. And then we'll start it up and see if it's fixed. Fingers crossed.